Hi, this is Yuki and my mom. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to talk about the procedure I had on Thursday. Thursday. It sucked. Because I could feel everything and see everything. Yeah, I tried to get everything where he would have Yuki would have sedation and everything, and doctor had that all set up and everything. But doctor was running behind, and the wonderful nurse that Yuki had gave him the sedation at the time that it would work if everything was running on time. But, considering it wasn't, the sedation pretty much wore off just as the doctor was starting the procedure. I tried to explain to him over and over again, to everybody there, that, you know, it, the, before the procedure wasn't what was making Nikki so anxious and nervous and scared. It was seeing the procedure happen, feeling the procedure happen. That, he didn't want, uh, Yuki didn't want to be awake for that. That was the only reason we asked for sedation. And he woke up just as the doctor started. He wasn't able to communicate that he was awake. Um, doctor saw that he was starting to get a little upset, just that. And he, the only thing the doctor said was, is there something that you have so we can cover his eyes so he doesn't, you know, doesn't see anything? That's not going to help the pain. Even though they gave um, two shots of lidocaine where they were going to be doing the procedure, Yuki said it didn't even help. He could feel every, you know, the, the incision. He could feel him pushing the loop recorder in. He could feel all the, when he stitched him up, he could, he unfortunately, could feel everything. So, the procedure, I mean, itself, yeah, it did go well, but not in the sense that he had to feel it all. Not to mention the nurse that he had was horrible people's skulls horrible bedside manner. He cared more about the fact that he could do his job, get it over with, and get the patient right out, and goodness forbid. I mean, I even asked him, I said, you know, I told him he needs to be asleep for this, and his line was, you know, the more pain medication I give him, or the, excuse me, the more, uh, not pain medication, the more sedation I give him, I give Yuki, the more time you're going to have to spend with me. Yeah. And like I told him, I don't care. You know, I don't care how much time we have to spend with you. It's about him being comfortable and not spend, us having to spend time with you. That's not what the issue is. It's the patient being comfortable with the procedure when it's being done. I mean, afterwards, I mean, they didn't even like, cover Yuki's chest back up. I came in there and did that. And he acted like it was no big deal. Like his nursing duty was to clean up after the doctor and put all of his tools and everything away that the doctor used instead of just taking two seconds of common decency and covering the patient's chest back up. I mean, come on. Needless to say, Yuki, after the procedure, had a complete meltdown, a, a well-justified meltdown. Um, can't blame him at all. I mean, I would have been very upset too. We ended up getting the doctor back in there. The doctor came back in with the nurse. Uh, you know, and I went off on the nurse in front of the doctor. I mean, you know, I told the nurse, I said, it's about the patient's comfort, not about you having to do your job or you having to put up with the patient longer. Your job is to take care of the patient. The patient's needs are what comes first. No. But. Yeah, some people, uh, I mean, I understand if he was having a bad day, or whatnot, but you don't take it out on your patients. That's just not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to take care of your patients, not let your bad day affect your ability to do your job and treat other people correctly. I mean, the doctor did apologize for the pain and sent him home, Yuki home with pain medication, but, and you're feeling better today. That's good. I'm going to hand this back to Yuki now. You can say how you felt. And how did it make you feel? Nobody. You were telling this very good Jessica. Remember all you were telling? That they were treating me like I wasn't a person. And I yelled at them not to touch me. Yes, you did. Again. 
to, to the point that you even had me take your IV out because you yep. would not let the medical prof professionals touch you at all. Yep. I said you were well justified in how you felt afterwards. You, you know, completely understandable. I show what it looks like. If you want. I mean, it's still bandaged up, so. So it looks like I have a band-aid on it so it doesn't come off. <coughs> Excuse me. So it doesn't come off. But you have one stitch in there, and you have steri strips on there right now. Yeah. We just covered it up with the band-aid so that we don't get it, it caught or anything or have to bother with seeing it or anything so it doesn't bother you. You want to explain how it works or anything, or... Pretty much, it's going to keep track of your. I already showed this. Your heart rate and everything, and show the doctor if you're having any palpitations or anything, or any arrhythmias or anything that's going on. Uh, if Yuki feels like a palpitation or dizzy, lightheadedness, has a blackout, or to show an example, has any chest pain, he needs. He puts this little. I call it his garage door opener. He puts that up to his chest, pushes the button. It's right over the loop recorder where it's implanted at. It turns from blue to green, and that marks marks it on the report five minutes before the pain that he felt, or the, whatever, the symptom that he felt, and two minutes afterwards. So that way the doctor can look at that and see, okay, this is what was going on at that time. Uh, Every night, he's got a little machine on the other side of the room. On the uh, Every night, it takes a report of everything that happened during the day. It sends it over to the company, which is Medtronics. They take a summary. And they send a probably email, I guess, over to the doctor. And he looks at it and sees if there's you know anything serious going on or anything that they need to look at, do something about right now or anything. But it lets him keep like a 24-hour check on his heart rate and everything so hopefully this can answer some questions about you know maybe why he's getting so dizzy lightheaded blackouts you know what the palpitations are all about so hopefully this you know tool will be able to help and it can stay in for up to four years it's got about a four year it's battery on it itchy. it's itchy because it's healing which is it to be expected when you had it's an incision itchy and, and a stitch? Sore. I, I know. I'm sorry that it's itchy and sore. Get up. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to say? No. Okay. Bye. Bye.